Today's creature of the day is the Odobinosa tops. Its name means the whale that walks on its teeth, in reference to the fact that it definitely looked like it could walk on those teeth. Male Odobinosatops had one relatively short tooth and another tooth that grew around a meter or 3.3 feet long, possibly larger. These quote-unquote teeth actually weren't teeth at all, but tusks that extended from the premaxilla, a bone in the upper jaw. In terms of the actual whale's size, it wasn't much of a large whale at all, at up to 13 feet or 4 meters long. It lived in Peru and Chile 15 to 4 million years ago, during the Miocene and Pliocene. And like I said, it was a whale, although it looked more like a walrus to me. And that tusk was probably just used for display, maybe even fighting. But only males had it. Anyways, it was a bottom feeder, sucking things up from the seafloor like clams and crabs. There were two species, Odobinosatops peruvianus and Odobinosatops leptodon. Peruvianus had very good vision, while the other species, Leptodon, relied on echolocation to see. They had very flexible necks, allowing its head to turn over 90 degrees. This was helpful in spotting predators like the Megalodon. It likely went extinct due to environmental shifts and was first described in 1993. The only media appearance I know of is in the documentary Chased by Sea Monsters, which is how I actually learned about the creature. In terms of video games, this was the only appearance that I could find. Jurassic Park Builder, an old Jurassic Park game. Good game, I'm just not sure about the designs there. Well, hey, you can't find this thing in a modern aquarium, but if you did, that'd be pretty cool. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment what other creatures I should talk about.